Synology DDNS provides a stable hostname for accessing your NAS remotely, even when your internet service provider assigns you a changing IP address. A frequent issue users encounter is the inability to access their NAS via DDNS from within their local network, while external access from outside the network works perfectly fine. This problem often stems from your router lacking NAT loopback support, also known as hairpinning. NAT loopback allows devices on your local network to use the external IP address to connect to services within the same network. Another critical aspect is ensuring correct port forwarding. You must forward the necessary ports on your router to your Synology NAS. Typically, this means port 5000 for HTTP access and port 5001 for HTTPS access. When troubleshooting DDNS issues, double check these key settings in your router configuration. Verify that port forwarding is correctly set up, confirm your router supports NAT loopback, and ensure your NAS has a stable internal IP address. When DDNS works externally but fails locally, the most common culprit is NAT loopback support. This network feature allows devices within your local network to access services using the external IP address. There are three main solutions to resolve NAT loopback issues. First, contact your internet service provider to request a router that supports NAT loopback functionality. The second solution is to use your own router with NAT loopback capability in bridge mode. This gives you more control over your network configuration. The third, more advanced solution involves configuring your Synology NAS as the default DNS server for your network. This requires technical expertise, but can be effective. Security is paramount when exposing your Synology NAS to the internet. Never expose your DSM interface directly to the internet, as this creates significant security vulnerabilities. Instead, use a VPN server hosted on your Synology NAS for secure remote access. This creates an encrypted tunnel between your device and the NAS, providing much better security. Always use HTTPS with a valid SSL certificate to encrypt your traffic. Synology can automatically integrate with Let's Encrypt to provide free, automatically renewed SSL certificates. Regular maintenance is crucial for DDNS reliability. Create a systematic troubleshooting checklist to verify all components are working correctly. Port configuration is critical for DDNS functionality. Ensure the correct ports are forwarded on your router and that your firewall allows the necessary traffic. If problems persist after checking all configurations, contact your internet service provider. Some ISPs block required ports or don't support port forwarding, which can prevent DDNS from functioning properly. By following these troubleshooting steps and security best practices, you can resolve most DDNS issues while maintaining a secure remote access solution for your Synology NAS.